Hey, get it. This is the best build in Elden Ring. I'm going to show you guys real quick. You might have to look up a few things on YouTube, you know, in order to get these. That's basically not what this video is about. This video is about showing how much damage this build does. And I did beat Millennia in under, like, I want to say a minute, maybe a minute 30, maybe two minutes, maybe three minutes. You know, I don't know. It, maybe it wasn't even a minute. Now that I'm thinking back on it, it might be a little bit longer. But anyways, this is what we're rocking with. And before we even get into anything, y'all were making fun of the drip in the last video. You know, the whole armor set, it looks nice. So we're getting it in this video. But here is the build right here. This is what we're rocking with. We got spinning strikes on this grave scythe right here. I had to farm for this thing. It took a little bit. If you guys, you know, need to look up on YouTube how to get some of these items, go ahead and do it because I know these talismans have like quest lines and you got to do these certain things. So make sure you just look it up, get it over with and, you know, try to get those um, because these talismans really make this build just overpowered. I mean, it's insane. So we got this one. We got the shard of we got the shard of Alexander. We got the Lord of Blood's exaltation and uh, the Radagon Source Seal. That's what we're rocking. Nine four right there in the physic though. Hold on, let me let me get my booty back to the grays. All right, for the mixed physic though, this is what we're doing right here. I got uh, the thorny crack tier and the crimson bubble tier. This one, this one's a lifesaver right here, especially when you're using that Ash War ability. But I got a few examples here and some gameplay of this build and just showing exactly how strong it is. It's ridiculous. The best and most damage packed build that I've personally played with in Elden Ring. Honestly, this is going to be the one that I'm going to beat the Elden Beast with. Um, we're going to be having a video of that coming out as well, probably in the near future. But anyways, let's get into it, boys. All right, so y'all already know. We beat the hardest boss in the game with this build pretty easily and fairly quickly. So right there, we used our Golden Vow. Then we did Flame Grant Me Strength. And then we did the Blood Flame Blade. That's basically, you know, as soon as I'm going into a boss fight, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. We dropped the Mimic right there. And then we also did our Physic. And right here, I'm just waiting for my Mimic to engage him, right? As soon as he does that, it's over. You guys are going to see the damage that comes out of this real quick. And it's just stupid. And the more you hit them, the more damage is going to accumulate. And especially like the bigger and slower bosses where you can get continuous hits off. It is absolutely insane. Like it, it, it doesn't even compare to any build that I've personally played with. I know there's been some other builds that have done a lot of damage but not anything like this like especially going in when we didn't take rarely any damage right there and then as soon as you know we get into phase two we do take a little bit of damage but she's already down to what a fourth of her health like like there's nothing you know I, i'm just gonna go in and tank this and i think i use my flasks right here yeah i use a couple right there and then i just kind of try to play it smart here is you know as you guys can see we have the mimic tier he's still doing his thing out there you know and uh we ended up actually beating this boss it took me a little bit and i'm like nah i gotta switch up my build i gotta try something new and i came across this um there's actually a guy on youtube um, I came across this by I'll put his link down in the description I did switch it up a little bit and right here we got another insane clip so I was just kind of running through seeing kind of what bosses I have left because I only have the Elden Beast left and I just ran across this boss and I just started smacking his Achilles and uh, yeah he died that quick I mean that is absolutely insane that is that is dumb that should that should not be in the game but it is and i'm thankful it is because it's helping me beat the game that much easier we actually do have another crazy <laughs> like super fast boss you guys probably seen this in the beginning of the video this is uh going up against that troll and uh uh in the swampy area whatever it is and uh what was that two three seconds two or three seconds all that damage that is absolute that, that just blows my mind and i needed to share this with you guys because it made my life easier on elden ring and i think it'll make your guys's life easier on elden ring but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button 
and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.